Happy Saturday. I almost said Sunday. I'm losing track of days here. Go back to work in the morning. But anyway, this is a quick update. Uh, did get some bench time done. Don't know how good that's going to show, but black paint is hard to do. It's not perfect. I made to do a little sand in here on the end. A lot better than it looked before. So this is like take two on this kit. Uh, been using absolute black for the body and hood underside here is nothing special just using the interior black which I did do yeah I think it turned out okay got up under here and did the grill or, sorry radiator grills over well no grills over in there multi-part grill anyway yeah, I still need to do these two pieces there, there, and there. Uh, do them a different color. And of course, touching up little things like the lines and all that. Uh, this base. Yeah, this turn. For the most part, make it go this way. And make everybody sick. Yeah. That turned out okay. It's not going to be special. Um, there are going to be a couple different colors according to the videos I've been looking at. I've got, of course, I'll show the color that's going to go on the door. Uh, according to the video, this inside here should be a red color. And that little bit back there. Not sure about the speaker here, what I'm going to do with that. Did these a little earlier, the black paint here. Uh, dashboard turned out okay. I think yeah, it's not easy to see, but even did the inside there just help black it out a little bit. Uh, as you can see, I'm or here. I am just a little tired. Getting over a little bee bug. It wasn't much. Luckily, I lucked out. Just pretty much slept a day away. But yeah, did the seats, they turned out real nice. Trying to get back in there. A uh, couple other little parts here and there, but like I said, there is the grill pieces. Which, yeah, I love this thing. Everything always goes in out the way it should. Yeah. Give me a second of try to get it to focus there we go give that a couple coats of course the cobra has got to be metallic but i think there's a decal for it i'd like to have a photo etch piece to go on it maybe if i look it up and try to find one oh, this is awesome stuff always goes right back in the slot like it should i don't know yeah anyway there's the second piece that goes on there Turned out pretty darn good. Use the same primer on these pieces as I did the body. But I'll show you the show you the body here in a second. What, what I'm trying to talk about, but this here, the only piece there we go, only piece that won't be uh, splash paints because I run a low on aluminum and I wanted to get this stuff going, so I use this here. Just a regular Vallejo. It's a metal color airbrush. It's acrylic. So it went on pretty good. It's three coats, or light coats. Yeah, they're everything covered. Of course, I gotta go back and etch out those pulleys and the belts. I'm sure there's a couple of the little pieces, maybe this little piece here, maybe. I, I can't remember. I'll look at the engines and everything. Then again, I may not use it at all. I've recently purchased a couple. Uh, Mustang engine off of a uh, oh well one of those websites I can't remember shoot yeah anyway but yeah everything that should be painted the respective colors there you go yeah 
It's supposed to be upper radiator hose hookup. That's what the, that's what the instructions say. So yeah, we got that. I'm trying to make a short video, but I don't want anything parts going flinging everywhere. Of course, you got your exhaust. Let's just turn around. Both front and rear axle assemblies. I got them pieced together, put them together, and glued them in place, but not the pins. I didn't. I didn't glue the pins themselves into the uh, chassis. So I got every. Of course, this has been. These have been glued together for quite a few months, and I tested them again before I painted them. So yeah, these are all painted how they're supposed to be according to instructions. Turned out pretty good. The Vallejo aluminum. Not too bad. Take your time with it. Like I said, light coats. Uh, other than that, just little bitty parts like your little air cleaner goes on top of it. Uh, that little bitty piece that goes on. Well, it's up under here, but it goes right on the front, right on the front there. You got your inflammation and all that crap. Usually it has a uh, decal on there showing the placement of the serpentine belt. I do remember that part on these new vehicles. That and your all your pertinent information usually goes on here. Well, on there somewhere. I uh, haven't looked at all the decals, but yeah, I did. This here, that, and the rest of those. Yeah, the rest of these, just the... Uh, interior black which is good for me because all that's going to be dulled down anyway I, I want to find I really want to find a satin clear or a uh, yeah Not a, I don't want no gloss I don't want no dull I want it in between a, a nice satin clear for the seats and uh, the doors handles the shifter, gear shifter, maybe that middle console. I like them. Everything else inside here, even the back here, except for the speakers, I want all that just a dull coat. But this here, I want this all that I'm working at still. I want them all to be a nice gloss. But yeah, you can see that there. Excuse me. I had to scratch myself. This is a lot better than it was before, as you can see. I've sanded it down. I don't know exactly what that is, why it's doing that. But yeah, still working on it. I want it if it'll turn out like this. See that? Confused I am. That turned out pretty dang good. The top, not real good. But I'm hoping that when I do the gloss coat it'll it'll keep that at least that one covered. This I guess I'll have to do another little light sanding. Or maybe should I, you know, y'all let me know. Should I just try to get another another coat of paint on it? I don't know. I don't know what's going on here. Why it's doing that. You can see it doesn't do the whole side. It, it stops right there at the back window. It's just that little area and you know, some of that. But I've already sanded it down nice and smooth, I thought. And it's, I don't want to touch it right now. It's... Still curing, and I don't understand all that either, but, yeah. She got her problem, but look at that. It's not the whole model. And everything, you know, I used the, uh, Mr. Surfacer 1000. Everything was washed. I always wash my kits with Dom dish liquid. Let them dry and everything. Like I said, this has been washed and everything a year ago. Over a year ago. What am I saying? I didn't go to Acme last year. So it's been over a year. I had all the engine and all these things were already glued together about a year ago. Easily. Easily a year ago. So. I don't know. Y'all tell me what's going on here. Of course, I know black paint is a hard one to cover perfectly. But I, I wouldn't expect. I would not expect that. Like I said, it's much better than it was before. But yeah, I don't know. It's weird. Like I said, the hood here was about like that. 
what I did. I applied more paint to it. You know, let it sit for a little bit while it went over and did the body. See? It turned out pretty damn good. It was pretty bad like that one. I sanded it down, so... I don't know, y'all. I just... Yeah. I don't know. Scratch my head. But anyway, that's it for the update on that. Let me go put this back up. Hopefully I don't drop it. it just... Yeah. Good chance I will. Set this over here. It's going to be here for a few days. Like I said, I start work. Not worried about it right now. I'm going to go heat it over there. Keeping all that warm. A little chilly day today. I should have finished all this painting. Oh. Monday. Let's see. Make sure. Okay. Yeah, I was... That explains some of the stuff. But, went out and got a few things and had a couple things come in. Uh, this I've been waiting on for a while. I wanted to... I wanted to use that on my last build. But I got this one. Came in. Tammy got it for me. And, uh... I have... Uh... That one is coming in this week, and she just ordered me Mr. 24060. Yeah. So, yep. Maybe we'll look up that lot lizard next. I know I would like the 24044, the regular truck driver. But anyway, and they're not that big. They're pretty freaking, pretty freaking small. But yeah. Then, of course, I've got me a couple uh, smaller, yes, Jethro, these are kits, smaller Gundams. This is one of the newest ones. Uh, they had a movie on it that came out, was it last year? This is the uh, Witch Mercury series. And I've already built up, which, I don't know if it's, yeah, this one I did right. It's the one, I, uh, another Gundam that I built up, another Master Grade an extreme one. It's kind of a miniature perfect grade. As detailed as that one was, I left a couple parts out. Another story for another day. Uh, it, it, yeah. But anything, everything went together. This one here, yeah, I found this at the Lobby of Hobbies. Of course, I've got to get another one because Cody wants one. Oh, let's see. That's much better. You can see it's not like your normal high grade kit. They're doing a better job with their kits nowadays. This is almost, in my opinion, a real grade uh, scale or quality, I should say. Yeah. There we go. That's it when it's built up. It's really nice. I've got, of course, I went and got the figure, that figure there built up. So that was pretty cool. That was a good one to build up to. But yep, I went and got this. And I got two of these. One is for, of course, that kit. So I got two of them. I'll show you the other one in a second. My boy got it for me. But yeah, this one, Fred would like this one. That Savino's just came out with this. I'm sure everybody's watched uh, Matt and uh, Mark's video on these. These are kit of the month kits oh definitely looking forward to uh this next one coming up but yeah here's my last one i'm going to show you this is the one the boy got me it's an oldie but a goodie but this one is of course the real grade version uh better detailed uh my master grade one i remember right i got it down in the man cave did not have all this black edging on it it was okay uh, back then, the legs were more or less hollow. You had two pieces on each side of your leg and some a joint. You call a knee, I guess, in the center where it, you know, bends. These things, yeah, blow your mind. Very nicely detailed, and yeah, I looked in the kit. This thing pretty much comes all this. This piece here comes with uh, the little pointed parts that you connect on there, the red and the black. They're separate, but you get your connection points and this whole like serpentine piece. Yeah, that there is all one piece. It's cool how they can uh, mold pieces these days. 
and it does kind of kind of transform it's pretty still pretty lame to me but it's cool that they kept it that way the original way and with a lot of those real great kits not all of them but most of them they come up with those lame ass stickers so this is a shout out oh. <laughs> Well, I might as well do that one. They give us a Gundam store there. Not only when you purchase that kit, I don't know if they're still doing it. This is like twenty some dollar deco sheet here. You get it free. So I get, yeah, I know it's a lot of decals, <laughs> and you won't do all of them. As you can see, you get different types. I guess you get two of those in case you mess up but anyway yeah even designates it's a real great number 38 but yeah you get it all free and I'm sure inside here uh, it's got the sheet showing you where everything goes so I thought that's pretty damn cool yeah and yeah I do need to do one heck of a clean in here sorry Dylan I'm not gonna show you all the mess again I'll be nice so that's it folks that's that's my uh quick long version of it and again if y'all can tell me what I'm doing wrong with this darn Mustang there's nothing running or maybe I'm not putting enough paint on it you know I don't know I don't know I'll try again later probably like I said four days or so I get off Wednesday evening it's my last day I got four of these in a row long break somewhat uh, give me some overtime this time around again taking it when you can get it people so other than that i'm gonna get off here no babbling done and done till then y'all take care i have something else to show y'all tell you i'll do another video take care